This is my mirror exercise. Five minutes talking into the mirror about what I really want. So I'm looking into the camera, looking into my own eyes. And what I really want, I want to teach Bob Proctor about divine principle. He knows so much. He's such, at such a high level. He's reaching so many people who are, and he's really explaining the aspects of mind-body unity, the, talking about the gap between knowing and doing. And he, certainly he uses different terminology than what we use in the unification movement. But he has a very, very deep understanding of universal principles and teaches them very, very scientifically, very clearly, very convincingly. I love this guy. He's really teaching so much. And then he talks about polarity, inside and out, dark and light, up and down. And once, only once, I heard him say bad and good. Now, what I know from the divine principle is that we have complementary aspects, masculine, feminine, positive, negative, which harmonize with one another. They complement one another. They fit together and help to create a new whole. Man and woman together create children. Positive, negative, it results in an atom. And all of this comes from the universal energy, whether you talk from a scientific perspective or from a theological perspective, whether it's God or the universal energy, it doesn't matter what you call it. In the divine principle, we talk about the four position foundation, God, man, woman, children. So I really want to explain that good and evil are not complementary. They mutually exclusive. If you start doing the right thing, then you can harmonize the positive and negative, the masculine and feminine to create new life. But the theory of conflict, as Marxism teaches, that a thesis creates an antithesis, through their conflict, create a new antithesis, is totally wrong. It's not, it doesn't stand to, it's, it's just not true. We see destruction through war, through conflict, through violent revolution. And so I, my goal is to learn how to express these ideas in such a way that I can convince people like Bob Proctor, who can reach millions of people across the world to teach this aspect of the principle in his own teachings for personal development. So Bob Proctor's market is people who are interested in improving themselves in personal development. My goal is to save the world as a follower of the Messiah, I have to say it, as a unificationist since 1975, when I gave up my nursing career and having worked over the last 45 years in this area, I'm convinced that the principles that I've learned in the unification movement, even though I have to say, there are many things, many aspects in the unification movement itself that I recognize as being inadequate but for me that's no excuse to give up on it or to leave it because since the beginning it has been a cry out to me to take responsibility when I joined the unification movement it was because I saw a bunch of people that I thought were inadequate that couldn't teach it properly my spiritual mother started telling me about the universal principles of atoms and particles and molecules and she got the order wrong and I for me that was already a, a, a mortal sin a drastic error and yet her personality her heart is totally different and it wasn't important to her to recognize or understand or even teach those aspects of, of, of physics and chemistry those physical laws and my arrogance and criticism of her 
was something that I learned to overcome. And I came, I've, I've really come to appreciate that it's that in the unification movement, it's often the spiritual people that are the in the leadership position. And often these leadership positions are occupied by people many times who do not have certain characteristics which you may consider significant or important for a leader today. And my desire today is to reach out to leaders who can really take responsibility for all aspects, where we can truly harmonize together, the intellectual, the spiritual, the cultural, all of these things. It's five minutes. I've spoken about what I'm thinking about what I want to do.